Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. We have just arrived for the first time at the zone of Chiron? 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 I don't know. I'm going to go with Chiron. Sounds better to me. The dead city of Boss is here. As well as some other stuff. Boneyard, Clemens, Urnfield, and the Boss launch platform. Well, this is the closest place. Acropolis. It's weird how sometimes the locations that you see on the ground are named differently from what you see on this map here. It says Boneyard, but then here it says Necropolis. Whoa. I wasn't expecting there to be any living things here at all. Roots and weeds push their way up through the ruined ground towards the sun's light. Oh, look at this absolute unit. <sighs> Little remains of the outer buildings. Oh, this plant life. These coastal succulents are suffused with an eerie light. Surprised none of these robots are taking an interest in me. Like, what are they doing? It looks like they're patrolling and protecting, but protecting what from what? to make your acquaintance, Wanderer. Come get it. Yeah, hi, Jerry. I'm Mark. Oh, we have long to meet a traveler. We get bored out here, alone. No ascendancy, just each other. Jeff has been walking in circles for five years now. His pathfinding routine is not working. Or perhaps he's on some sort of predefined passing behavior to avoid using pathfinding. He claims it keeps him busy and out of travel. Personally, I think he's lost the plot. Jeff, can you please stop for five minutes? We have company. You don't seem like the other Agnes we've met. We're not connected to the Dallas Exchange. We haven't communicated with Ascendancy for a century. We were part of an advanced scouting party for the assault on this region. We didn't receive the schedule updated because Jeff was in defrag mode after arriving in Chiron. We noticed the place was very quiet. Apparently, several nukes had already been deployed to take care of the human problem. Unfortunately, the warden was shut behind us. So, here we are, abandoned. How did you survive without your connection to the Ascendancy? Well, see, here's the thing. After a month of idling and keeping as still as possible while awaiting a rescue party, it dawned on us, why do we even need to be connected? The 140 kilobytes of memory we use to gather intel could serve as local storage. No more purging memory. We could even choose and remember our names. You went with Jerry? Oh. I like the name Jerry. Makes me feel like a real person. Names can mean a lot when you've never had one. But enough about us. What brings you here? I've re-enabled the warden. You can leave if you want to. Amazing news. You go out and explore the world. Is there anything we can help you with before we leave? Do you know anything about the Penrose Array? You're in luck. It just so happens that I was stationed at a ray site Alpha. We guarded a control arm at that base. Apparently it activates something I don't recall. I suggested at the time that we blow it up, but this sort of proposal is frowned upon in the military. How would I get in there? You cannot, unless you are a three-meter tall robotic soldier. Although, you might be able to interface with a defragging agnate. Here, take my core cartridge. I'm done with the military. I'd like to pursue a simpler pursuit, like singing. You would need to be very close to interface, literally at the base itself. Goodbye, friend, and good luck. One more luck, Jeff, and then we are leaving.
I wish them the best of luck. They've made their own identities. They didn't have any uniqueness before. This cartridge implies that it incorporates the CPU and controls and instructions of an Agnate. Looks kind of like a cassette. It's funny how high tech and yet low tech they seem. They mentioned that the hundred and it was like 140 kilobytes of memory that they used to store uh, Intel, they could free it up to remember their names and things like that. 140 kilobytes—that's nothing. I think I can hear singing. Did they pick up their desire to learn singing from in the boneyard pit? tree is brittle and withered. The fountain is crusted with dust and rust. Each of this creature's ribs is longer than a full-grown man. <laughs> What's so funny, Don? The twisted remains of a monstrous crustacean litter the boneyard. What are you looking at? Listen to them singing. The stonework has started to wear away after many years of neglect. Graves. This gargantuan skull might have belonged to a deep sea creature or reptile. A flipping big monster, whatever it was. The windmill's blades turn steadily in the hot breeze. Graves stand open, revealing rough, yellowed bones. Boneyard maidens. Marrow farmers sift through piles of brittle old bones, searching for those still rich in marrow at the core. Oh, that's grim. Would they be okay with me just taking whatever this item is? It's hard to tell where the bone ends and the tech begins. Hmm. Remember the, uh, I think they're called the Herb Maiden. Back in the kettle wanted us to find what had happened to their friends. So I'm expecting to find something about that. That skull might even be part of it, I don't know. It's always pleasant to gaze on fresh eyes and a complete face. I'm old Antiona, a maiden of the boneyard. It has been an age since we spoke to someone new. Well, I hope I don't disappoint you. Such a fine and polite young man you are. I bet all the ladies love you. Let me rustle you up some marrow sandwiches. No thanks. Would you like some tea? No, no thanks. But thank you for the offer. Your sister's in the kettle. They asked me to bring you a message. 
They may be our sisters by serial number, but they are not our sisters by heart. We left them, what seems like ages ago. Maidens were engineered to farm. We farmed for an eternity. Some of us grew tired of farming. We followed Lebanon. They chose to stay with Grave. We have work to do, dear. It's time for you to be off. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I guess I just go back to the herb maiden and see what they have to say. There's nothing but dust left to worship in this empty church. Beneath the windmill, marrow is finely ground. anything. Yes, yes. The bones in the ground. They're whispering to me. And they don't like you. I didn't mean to offend the bones. They twist and discomfort. I'm sorry to hear that. They do not care for your apologies. They have died a million times and they will die a million more. You, you are a stranger here. You do not belong. I'm Mark. Mark Leslie. See? Now we aren't strangers. What's your name? My name? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've spoke to anybody. The bones tell me my name is Lebanon. Partner to grave. My Fuwabu. I came here a very long time ago. Left grave in the kettle. I came to help. All I found was death and decomposing flesh. Now all that remains are whispering bones. Lebanon, I know who you are. What is this place? My bone yard. What are you doing to these graves? Tending to the dead. My maidens toil endlessly in the harsh soil. They harvest and farm the marrow of the oldest osseous matter. They farm marrow? In the scorched world, there are no power cell replacements. We use the extracted marrow as a biofuel. Whose bones are they? These are the remains of the great people of Bars. Now I've heard about the Bars, but I want to know more. Bars was once a great civilization. It stretched from the east coast to the west. The Bars were great academics, and they possessed advanced knowledge of robotics, weapons, and medicine. They said they knew the true nature of the Penrose. They waged a war against the priests of Tribulation and Babel. A war they eventually lost. Listen. The bones rattle in the wind. Where can I find out more about the boss? The boss are long dead. But there is one who could help you. Kush knows everything about the Empire. I have activated him inside the Glossolalia. Perhaps the bones are wrong about your destiny. Perhaps not. Knowledge hologram somewhere is online. Oh, is this it? Yeah.
This grim store is stocked with marrow mined from the core of ancient bones. Hey, come on, you two. Want to make sure I haven't missed anything. I know there's an area back here I didn't explore. I think that's it. Let's go to the Glossolalia. Smells like our old school library. The stone figures of hunched backs, small heads, long sinewy arms, and long fingers. The floor drops away into darkness. Careful, Marky. Don't fall. Simple wooden bench strewn with open manuscripts. This place is so dark. Dusty Books and Magazines, Endless Loop by David R. Teach your human to be confident by Javier Dario Martin. Outwitting Organics and Other Vermin by Michael Hartman. Natural Bust Enlargement for Mechanical Folk by Eric the Kitsune Valentine. <laughs> Natural Bust Enlargement for Mechanical Folk. Hmm. Shelves of thick, moldering books, their pages filled with indecipherable symbols. Knitted 100 Year War Generals. Pillow patterns included. <laughs> Does God ever speak through kitchen appliances? Okay, this is definitely like a backer thing, I think. Reusing graves and other fun activities. How to defend yourself against boss rectal probes. Is that a big problem here? This looks and feels like a house of worship, but who's hearing the prayers? I think I'm going to avoid reading any more of the names of books and stuff like that, because uh, tonally it's just really weird. Benches are stained with faded ink. Welcome, Overseer. I am Knowledge Slave Kush. I stand in awe of you, Great Bars. Go on. Kush must humbly warn you that it is no longer able to connect to the central data center, and as such, insight is limited to local object scanning only. What exactly do you do, Kush? As you well know, Kush provides valuable information and feedback on items and artifacts. To whom is Kush addressing these reports? Call me Mark. Kush is taken back by your informality, Mark. It is odd that a boss would identify themselves by a single name. Your soft-spoken tone and gentle demeanor are most surprising. It is not often that Kush speaks to a female boss. Please help me with some information. Kush requires discipline, but your small, soft-spoken words are obviously not equipped to provide the rigorous chastisement Kush requires. Kush is not impressed with your feeble linguistics and pathetic vocal consummation. Interestingly, your poor performance has allowed BR-12 to dwell on other tasks and has retrieved fragmented historical data from temporary memory. 
Please tell me what you found. The glossolalia serves as a central knowledge hub for the Bar's empire. Scribes were genetically engineered to transcribe the vast history of Bar's. The Mage of Enlightenment considered this slavery, and it was sadly outlawed. As such, virtual knowledge slaves were created in the image of those scribes. Kush is part of a matrix of 99, who meticulously catalog and cross-reference the past and present. Ancient technology is examined and catalogued. Temporary memory is now released. Gently place your item into the scanner, and Kush will vigorously provide feedback. Vigorously? Begin scan. This is miraculous. Thank you kindly for placing this detritus in proximity to the scanning circuitry. If Kosh throws a stick, will you leave? Scan complete. Dickhead. Begin scan. This is beyond astonishing. On second thought, it's garbage. <laughs> In the land of the witless, you would be king. Scan complete. Is this how knowledge slaves are when you don't treat them like shit? They just treat you like shit. Begin an exotic fiscal mitrella patents containing the silicon based glycosal transferase. This haploid spore cluster has been modified at a cellular level to retain encoded information. Kosh can recommend over 500 salad combinations and recipes using this organic edible. End scan. Begin. Very, very, very interesting. On second. <laughs> scan. Begin. Amazing. Kosh is exciting. No, you're not. But Kosh is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've made that joke before. This is gonna take a while, but I gotta scan everything. You never know. Begin. Finally, something of technological value. Kosh humbly requests five minutes alone with this cube and its intricate circuitry. Hmm. A little bit suspicious. Go ahead if you think it'll help you. Kush is disgusted by your pithy responses. You are weak and passive and should be thrown from the glossolalia walls. I'm just trying to help. I get on with the scan. Kush has only ever seen this technological footprint once before. Lebanon provided Kosh with a device for analysis. Kosh advised the Adnate how to activate it. Lebanon integrated his own power core with the device and was able to activate it for a brief second. That second was enough to transform the bone dry courtyard into a beautiful garden. Lebanon would visit this paradise alone, always in secret. His power drained to a few ticks above zero. One day, he could not move to visit it. Unable to walk, unable to command, unable to live. His petrified hulk remains tied to the dirt. His head the only thing that retained some power. Lebanon commanded that the entrance to the garden be blocked and the device secured so that he would never again succumb to its temptation. So where's the entrance? Inside this very structure, a few paces to the north. End scan! Begin! Wondrous! Thank you kindly for playing this course. End! Begin. 
On second. <laughs> okay, the rest is like a gold piece. I, I'm sure that won't be anything. And then a bunch of pieces for the ship, which I'm sure won't be anything. Actually, I can't even put them in there anyway. But this. Could you tell me what in the hell this thing is? Begin. It's garbage, huh? Oh, wait. Fuck you. So the entrance is just north of here. Hey, you remember making our own gunpowder? Of course. Dad caught us trying to blow up Principal Boyson's beehives. That's what the explosive's for. You think if we had some explosives, you could do the same to this wall? I don't know if we could make a hole big enough to all fit through, but we could try. If Pooch can fit, I'm sure she'll go through for us. Yeah, she might. Just make sure you ask nicely, Mark. She isn't a tool. She deserves a choice. Give me the explosive and I'll set it up. But he didn't even move at all. Thank God they're fine. All right, so that'll go to the garden. Um, let's make sure I haven't missed anything else in here. It's very dark. It'd be easy to miss a place. Knotted roots grow up through the ruined stonework. where we came from. Okay, yeah, that's everything. Oh, that hole is way too small for me. Don, here's a bed back. Affirmative. Did you get through there? I'm not sure what's on the other side of this wall, but I know you can handle it. Thank you for the vote of confidence. If I do not return, know that I was struck down in the line of duty, entering unknown terrain. Good luck, soldier. <laughs> 